<laughs> All right, so it is travel day for us. We are leaving Blue Mesa Thousand Trails. We're gonna go and camp by the Great Sand Dunes National Park down in Southern Colorado. We're gonna use that as a layover and then we're gonna go to Albuquerque for the hot air balloon fiesta. And I know you guys are excited about that. What I'm gonna do though, is this is such a beautiful campground. I figured I could ride around and just show you some of the things of this campground before we get going. Because one, the views are, are great. Yes, there's no service, except for Starlink. Starlink has done fat, fantastic uh, this week. The views and some of the other things about the campground are just kind of nice. So I figured I'd share those with you uh, before we get going. Before we get this video started, I just want to say thank you to our patrons. Yes, because you guys are awesome and thank you so much for your support. All right, let's get the video started. <laughs> So to start, we do have full hookup sites. It's only 30 amp, uh, but they are full hookup. The problem with it though is, is that the sewer, the inlet to the sewer is higher than the outlet from my RV. So you know what happens? The, the hose just fills up and stays that way until you do the walk back and forth, back and forth. So I will also say the sites are, they're kind of nice. They're not very wide. They're deep, but they're not very wide. Um, especially with all of this these bushes around here and then some of the sites are kind of soft so you see some there's some tire tracks there there was some tire tracks in ours um, but yeah other than that it's pretty good not a lot of grass if you have pets there's some grass in a few of the areas but most of the just dirt gravel pavement which is you know if you have pets it can it can be a little difficult especially if it rains it did rain a little bit it didn't get too bad but it was uh, still kind of nice here They actually have a little pond here that's for fishing for uh, 12 and younger. So you can you can bring the kids over here and go fishing. Limited to two fish, but they still have something for the kiddos. That's pretty nice. Horseshoe pits, basketball court, playground. Putt putt. Concrete slabs. I, I don't know, maybe shuffleboard. They do have a dump station in case you end up getting a site that's not full hookup, but I also want to show you. Look at these trees. Such a beautiful time of the year to be here in Colorado. And we're right outside of Gunnison, Colorado. So beautiful. They do have propane here. Uh, it was a little pricey, but if you don't feel like driving too far, they got propane right here on site for you. Nice little gazebo with a really pretty view. In case you want to just relax for a little while. And they got this cool little wagon here. However, they could have done without that uh, Broncos emblem right there. I get it, we're in Colorado, but still. And this is the main office. Now, because they don't have service here, they do have Wi-Fi available in the buildings, which is pretty decent Wi-Fi, actually. All right, that was a quick look at the main office. It's really pretty. Now they do have a second facility in the campground and this is actually where the laundry room is. There's another lounge area with pool tables and some restrooms. This is actually a pretty nice restroom. So if you like taking showers in the bathhouses instead of in your RV, uh, this is actually a pretty decent option. And then there's a pool and a jacuzzi behind it. Unfortunately, they are closed for the season, but uh, you do have the ones in the office that are still open.
All right, well, there was one other building that I didn't get to show you. It's called the Family Center. Unfortunately, it is under renovations right now and it's closed. There's a little trail that kind of walks through the woods too. Uh, but overall, pretty nice campground. Like if you guys are out this way towards Gunnison, Colorado and you're a Thousand Trails member, this is a great, great option. All right, now that we're done with the tour, next up, we got to clean this thing up, get it ready to roll and then head on out. So here we go. Love those bike racks. So much easier to store our bikes. Bring the bed right down onto the seats and holds it right in place. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> We're going to Boondock. Where's the, what's the end state? End state is New Mexico. For? The Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. Are you excited for that? Yes. Very excited. Me too. Very much excited. Ready to see some hot air balloons, even though we have to work the whole week. You always record me when I'm trying to pack. And then you wonder why it takes me so long. <laughs> well, wait a minute, how to get you? Yeah, get me in the in the zone. Um, we're going to New Mexico for the Albuquerque Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. Um, should be fun, should be amazing. I can't wait to see all the balloons. Do you want to ride a hot air balloon? I would love to ride a hot air balloon. I don't know if we'll be able to, but I'm gonna try. I'm pretty sure Nick would love it too. Mm-hmm. Maybe get some 360 footage while we're up there. That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. How about you? You think you would love it? You want to ride a hot air balloon? Yes. So much. <laughs> what about you? What are you talking about? Do you want to ride a hot, hot air balloon? Yes. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where are we going now? So we are currently in Gunnison, Colorado. Colorado. And we are going to... Black flies are horrible here. Yes. Well, at least in, we're, we're here in September and there's like 30 a day. So it's been my full-time job just to try to kill these things. Just to kill them. Yep. Or shoot them out of the camper. One of the two. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, we're in Gunnison, Colorado. Uh, it's beautiful out here. There's plenty of hikes to do and things to see. Um, but we're heading a little bit farther south about three hours um, to try to boondock near the Great Sand Dune National Park so that if we can find a spot to boondock we're going to go see the National Park tomorrow. Sweet. That'll be a good stop. Yeah. And we'll break up the drive because it's like a seven hour drive if we just do it all at once. Right. So. Down to Albuquerque. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. So just a, just a one night stop but we'll see. Okay. Cool. Why aren't you done yet? Because you're not taking the camera off me. Good morning. We are at Sacred White Shell Mountain Dispersed Camping. It's on Campendium. Yes, it is on Campendium. It's on the road that takes you to the sand dunes, the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Yep. The, those mountains you see right here behind us, multiple 14K point, uh, peaks. Yes. There's, multiple. There's tons of 14,000 feet elevation peaks yeah. in Colorado. So this this road that kind of goes uh, beside the parking lot, you, it's dispersed camping. So you just find a spot down there and you go camping. We only parked in the parking lot last night. Yeah, because we're not really going. Like we're just, we're getting ready to leave. It was a one night stop and yeah. we got in really dark and out here there's no light pollution. So we had zero was... visibility when we came in. We had no idea we were surrounded by that. 
<laughs> when we came out, it's just But that's the amazing, amazing part about boondocking, though, and stopping at nighttime, because when you wake up, it's a whole new world. Like, literally, a whole, whole new world. New yeah, world. I knew you were going to do it. Um, <laughs> new fantastic point stop, of stop. view. Stop. They don't need to hear you. All right. Um, anyways, it's a whole new sur- you know, surrounding area. We don't know what, we didn't know what to expect when we woke up. We're going to leave here today, and we're going to take the rigs to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. I don't um, know if we're going to get to actually, like, do much, because we're... We, we, we got a late start. Well, yes, we got a late start, but also um, we don't know if they'll let us park the rigs, like... In there. In there. Yep. Um, but I would like to get at least the passport stamp and some pictures yep. <laughs> of the of the National Park since we are here. Uh, and who knows when we'll be able to make it back this way. I know. Well, add this to your list. Yes. If you like to um, Jeep and boondock, um, that's a overlanding. What did you say about the All bike? right. So the trail, the, the, this road turns into a trail. It's one of the toughest, it's considered one of the toughest trails in America. One of the top 10 trails in the world. For overlanding. For overlanding. So if you have, if you got the skills, you get the, the equipment, come check out this trail. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know if I would attempt it. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're not into boondocking, but you still like to go jeeping or overlanding, there are like three campgrounds on this road. Um, they vary in price. Some are cheap and not big Rick Finley. <laughs> Some are expensive and can take anything. Yeah. Uh, we weren't willing to pay for just a one night stopover because we were only going to be here for like six hours. Yeah. Um, so we didn't. We decided to boondock. And our batteries did great. We haven't turned on the generator yet. Yeah. Uh, we When we got here, we were at 13.3. Making our coffee, we ran were, the furnace. We were at 13.3 um, volts oh. this morning and we are currently down to 12 because Nicholas just ran the microwave for like seven minutes. So the generator will kick on pretty soon. Bacon. But... But we did four, two cups of coffee, two cups of tea, three cups of tea, and the microwave and the furnace all night, and it's done great. Cool. So, all right, let's go check out the uh, battlecorn. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> battlecorn <laughs> for sure. Let's go check out uh, the national park. Yes. Let's go. You know, there are many hands right here that can help. Sierra. Are you sure? Sierra lunch box. Sorry. Comments like I want a lunch box. A little swag. So we are on the trail to the Great Sand Dunes. Great Sand Dunes. Well, and we're, we're in the Great Sand Dunes. We've, we've come to a, a little river. So this used to be a None lake. of us are prepared for it. We're, are we ever prepared for any of this? No. Never. No. And I apologize for the audio. Unfortunately, the camera uh, had to stay behind. I'm just We're just recording on the iPhone uh, as we go. So I apologize for the audio in advance. <laughs> yes. We're the ones that don't want to get our feet muddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all wearing football. Awesome, Michaela. <laughs> we're like, wearing tennis shoes. We're, the, we're those kids that are just sitting there, like, nope, not getting our feet dirty. <laughs> Mama don't care. Whew. Made it. All right, so if you decide to come to Great Dunes, make sure you bring some sleds. Not only sleds, make sure you wax them. You gotta wax the sleds really well in order for them to. Slide across the sand because the sand's a little different here, a little more abrasive. Sand's a little more abrasive here, so you're not going to slide quite as easy. <laughs> Up. Run! How far can you run? <laughs> Somebody gonna sleep good tonight.
You're not much further. What? You're not much further. You're like a maybe a third of the way. You're almost. You're almost halfway to halfway. You need kicking that four wheel drive. Look at this hill he's trying to climb. You got this. <laughs> I love the trail. We gotta go down. It's crazy. All right, let's do this. I bet. Back as far as I can. Ready? <laughs> Woo that was awesome. All right, that's it for the uh, Great National Dunes. Or, wait a minute, Great? Great Sand Dunes. Great something. Great Sand Dunes National Park. Great Sand Dunes National Park. We are on our way to Albuquerque Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. Yes.